Okay, let's talk about systemic racism. Now, before we get to systemic racism, what is racism? What is racism? So I want to read you um, a section out of Ayn Rand's um, article on racism because I, I can't think of any, anything that is better in terms of defining and describing what racism is and how low it actually is. I can't read you the whole article. I wish I could. You should definitely go read it. All you have to do is put in to Google Ayn Rand racism and the article is the first thing you get and you can go and read the whole thing. You should, it's definitely an article you should read. It's in the book, Ayn Rand's book, The Virtue of Selfishness. And here's what Ayn Rand says about racism. Racism is the lowest, most crudely primitive form of collectivism. It is the notion of ascribing moral, social, or political significance to a man's genetic lineage. The notion that a man's intellectual and characterological traits are produced and transmitted by his internal body chemistry. Which means, in practice, that a man is to be judged not by his own character and actions, but by the characters and actions of a collective of ancestors. <laughs> I mean, isn't she brilliant? Racism claims that the content of a man's mind, not his cognitive apparatus, but its content, is inherited. That a man's con convictions, values, and character are determined before he is born by physical factors beyond his control. This is the caveman's version of the doctrine of innate ideas or of inherited knowledge, which is being thoroughly refuted by philosophy and science. Racism is a doctrine of, by, and for brutes. It is a barnyard or stock farm version of collectivism, appropriate to a mentality that differentiates between various breeds of animals, but not between animals and men. Like every form of determinism, racism invalidates the specific attributes which disting distinguishes man, man from all other living species, his rational faculty. Racism negates two aspects of man's life, reason and choice, or mind and morality, replacing them with chemical predisposition. Predestination, sorry, predestination. Now that's brilliant, as all Ayn Rand's writing is. It's truly amazing. Um, but racism is judging a person, not by his own character and actions, but by the color of his skin, or his ethnic group or his race, however you want to define race. I think race is a bogus concept. Whatever you want to define race. By his genes, by his ancestors, by where he comes from in the world, by where he was born, by fill in the blank. Not by his own character and actions. So it's judging a person based in this context, in the context we're talking right now, of the riots out there, by the color of his skin, let's say. Judging him. Judging his worth. And evaluating him. You know, whether he gets a mortgage or not, you determine whether, whether based on the color of his skin. Whether the kind of treatment he gets in the police, based on the color of his skin. Whether you trust him or not, based on the color of his skin. Whether you employ him or not, based on the color of his skin. All of that is racism. So the question is, is there such a thing as systemic racism? Now, what does systemic racism mean? So here, I'm, again, I am referring to Jonah Goldberg's article, which is excellent, by the way. Speech is not violent. Jonah Goldberg generally is an excellent writer. I don't always agree with him much. I don't agree with him. He's, a, he's a, a conservative, but one of the better conservatives. One of the conservatives I view in many respects as an ally, although in other respects as not, but in some respects as an ally. He writes, systemic racism, also called institutional racism, is a theoretical framework that says a society can have deeply embedded racist mechanisms and ideas within it that yield racist results, treat people differently based on color of skin, for example. That's me. Uh, even if the individuals working within it aren't racists. So all of us might not be racist, but because the way the laws and the institutions are structured, they discriminate against people based on race. 
Now, here is a definition from somewhere that he, he cites. Uh, quote, systemic racism or institutional racism refers to how ideas of white supremacy are captured in everyday thinking as a systems at the systems level, taking in the big picture of how society operates rather than looking at one-on-one -on -one interactions. These systems can include laws and regulations, but also unquestioned social systems. Systemic racism can stem from education, hiring practices, practices or access. Okay, that is pretty abstract. I looked at that and I said, what does any of that mean? How do they think this actually operates? I'm not ruling it out, but how does it happen? What is the mechanism by which there is a system that implements racism even though there are no racists behind it? So luckily for me, somebody sent me a video um, where they are trying to basically provide an explanation of systemic racism. You could call this systemic racism for dummies, right? Simple, animated, animated, right? Now, of course, the obvious way you could have systemic racism if the laws were racist, and we'll get to that. But I think what they mean is something more subtle because many of the laws have been changed to be significantly less racist. Right? And indeed, maybe even what you'd call reverse racism. So, you know, in the 21st century, it's unlikely to be just the laws. They're implying that it's something more subtle, something much more than the laws. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute using the super chat and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time so I'll do it again maybe we'll get some more today um, if you like what you're hearing if you appreciate what I'm doing then I appreciate your support uh, those of you who don't yet support the show please take this opportunity go to youronbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com youronbrookshow and um, and and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to keep this uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next.